Welcome to Endorphasmic, where we talk about all things endorphasm. I am your hostess, Erica Porter. A reminder that endorphasm is a movement, is a mindset, it is a feeling, it is the power of the feeling, the feeling of the power. Endorphasm is the moment during movement that you feel. Let me emphasize that, that you feel all things are possible. Endorphasm is not a before and after picture. Endorphasm is not about what the scale reads. Endorphasm is not the size of your clothing. Endorphasm is not the aesthetic reflection that we see in the mirror. Now, endorphasm does change the reflection that we see in the mirror because it changes who we are. It elevates us. It builds confidence and trust in ourself, and it allows us to understand that all things truly are possible. Now, so often I get asked, action or motivation, which comes first? And no matter what you want to get motivated about, the answer always, always begins with action. Action is the catalyst for motivation, the precursor that comes first, followed by motivation. Most people believe they need motivation from something or someone to take action. Ooh, and that is tough, whether it's starting a workout program, a new diet, and I hate the word diet, changing our nutrition, let's say, reading more, whatever it is, people people often wait the perfect, and I'm doing air quotes, the perfect scenario before getting started. They need it to be Monday. They need it to be January 1st. When you are seeking external motivation, it's typically short-lived and it's unreliable and it's unsustainable. External forces are not the elements that you control, right? The day of the week doesn't matter. If you want something for yourself, you take action. When do you take action? You take action now because now is the time to change your life. As it says in my book, Eat That Monkey, Now is the Time to Change Your Life. Now, the emphasis on now, control your controllables. Action comes first, it drives motivation. No matter how big or small, taking the first step is absolutely essential for achieving any goal. And by taking action, you become the orchestrator of your own motivation. Control your controllables and understand your driving force. If you focus less on external sources, more on internal internal exploration, it's like my first day with my new tongue, Uh, that is success. Action is within, within each of our control, regardless of what the circumstances might be. Taking action toward your goals helps break down mental barriers and it absolutely helps build confidence. When I talk about the endorphasm being real, the endorphasm is real. It's something that builds our confidence. Action stokes the motivational fire and creating this feedback loop, right? This We start to change the conversation when we're taking action. And when you change that feedback loop, that fuels continuous action and growing drive, But it's important that you start small. You kind of begin with small attainable goals to build confidence and consistency. I talk about care, consistent and repeated effort. We are what we repeatedly do. We are what we repeatedly do. We are the words we repeatedly use about ourselves. We are the action that we repeatedly take. That is who we are. And I think it's important to know your why, to make sure that that is a why that is yours. If you keep your goal and the reason behind it in mind, it helps center us and it helps us to be able to take action. It has to be for you. Even if it's serving others, service to others, it is still a why for you. And you've got to be flexible. You have to adapt to the ups and downs of your journey. Just because you say that you want to go and work out at four o'clock in the morning and you know you miss a day, it's important to, to be flexible and to understand that some days we need to sleep. And then sometimes if it becomes the, the down, the missing the 4 a.m. wake up call consistently, then maybe you need to take a look at your action or you need to take a look at what your actual um, 
goal is and whether or not it's something that you really want. So stay consistent, show up every day, no matter what. So I have talked about many times about desire, action, focus. Desire is what you truly want for yourself. That's the goal. Action is is necessary to obtain, to achieve that goal. And the focus is even when you don't feel like doing it, you do it anyway, because what you want is the most important thing. So stay consistent, show up every day, no matter what. Build routines, focus on habits over outcomes and have a plan. It is okay to write down exactly what you need to do in order to be successful. There is a reason why companies have business plans and budgets and things of that nature, because there is there is a metric in which to be accountable to and to be successful. Challenge yourself, embrace the challenges, embrace the fact that it might suck get up at four o'clock in the morning. But if that is the window that you have in order to achieve your goal, then that has got to be the most important thing. But it's really important that you understand that you have to enjoy the process, find joy in the journey. And that makes it a lot easier. And that's, for instance, when we talk about changing nutrition, if suddenly you're changing everything and you're cutting things out and it's work and it's laboring and it's, and you don't want to meal prep and you don't want to do those things. That's going to be tough. I learned a long time ago that that is not, um, that is not for me. <laughs> Cutting something out, um, limiting myself, um, having to plan so far in advance to make meals and do that kind of thing it doesn't work for me. I don't enjoy it. And therefore I set myself up for failure when I do things that I absolutely don't enjoy. Um, Same thing when it comes to, you know, starting an exercise program, a workout program, a movement program. I like to think of it as moving every day. Find something that you like. If you dread going to the gym and just walking aimlessly and trying to figure out what to do, or you you hate um, wherever it is that you are, Find something different. There are so many options. And and it's you gotta connect with it. You gotta connect with the movement. You gotta connect with the community. So um the bottom line is that action should precede motivation when striving for any goal. Don't wait for motivation to find you. Take action and create your own. Motivation flows when action shows. Damn, that should be a bumper sticker. All right then. <laughs> With that, love, health, and happiness, and always much respect.